everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my brother's buggies are just off site of the camera and they decided to be very loud today, so please just ignore that. Um, so today's video is going to be uh, advice and tips for viewing horses. I wish I had this um, advice when I was buying Lexi. I bought Lexi three years ago and there was absolutely no videos on this topic and I thought this is a great time to make this video since everybody's buying horses with the pandemic and stuff. I made this video a few months back but it was very rushed and it wasn't planned so it was a, all the tips were all over the place and didn't really make that much sense so I deleted that video and decided I'm going to actually make a proper video and actually have time to actually um, plan everything out. So, um, my first tip would be, um, would be actually research the cost of actually owning the horses, research the yard you're going to put your horse in and make sure there's actually spaces available. Before you do anything, it's super important to know that you can actually afford a horse and you have your yard picked and there's spaces available because uh, there's nothing worse, um, then buying a horse and realising there's absolutely no space um, for the yard you wanted to put it in. Because then if you do your research ahead of time, you could find a different yard. Because I definitely made that mistake, I didn't check space and then I luckily there was one stable left when I got Lexi, but um, it could have been a disaster. Uh, two, my second tip would be Sorry, that sounded weird. Um, my second tip would be um, would be actually uh, get somebody experienced to read the ads for you, because um, because uh, people can uh, make horses sound a lot better than they actually are, and people can lie through their ads. And somebody somebody who's a bit more experienced will actually be able to spot that quicker than somebody who is who's the first time trying to actually buy a horse. Another, another thing I would actually really recommend is know what horse you want in the first place. Is it a kick along? Is it forward going? Is it a school master? Like, make sure you actually know which horse will suit your riding ability before uh, looking for one. It will stop you wasting your time on looking at unsuitable horses that doesn't suit your ability and it stops you buying a horse um, that might be a bit too much for you. Um, my next tip would be uh, when you do actually get all that sorted and you go to view a horse bring somebody experience if you can. That's a mistake I made when I was actually buying Lexi. I went on my own with my mother but my mother is not horsey, so we didn't really have much of a clue. And um, luckily it worked out well for me, but if you can get somebody experienced, I really recommend it, because some sellers do take advantage of people. Like, if, if, if they think that you're not experienced, uh, they will take advantage of you. So please bring somebody experienced if you can, or at least send videos to an instructor asking what do they think of it. Um, the next tip would be to have a healthy budget. Um, I know a lot of people, like it's, a, not everybody has a lot of money, I do understand that, but um, I do think you should have a healthy budget, especially with COVID prices now. Horse prices have went through the roof and it just stops you from actually um, getting a horse that might not be suitable for you. I will be honest, Lexi was quite a cheap horse, but she was quite green when I first got her. Like she didn't really know a lot of stuff. She was broken, but she was green. Like she didn't have a lot of experience. She had very low mileage, but um, that was in 2018. But since COVID has came around, you need to be um, have a healthy budget now, I think. And if you don't, maybe just save up a bit more to make sure you do, because horses have gotten very, very expensive. The next thing is a vetting. After
after you like the horse. It say if it did go well and you did like the horse, the next thing you do is a vetting. A vetting is extremely important because it makes sure the horse is actually healthy. Because um, a lot of people do try to sell unsound horses, horses with a lot of health issues. So please make sure you do a vet. Um, the next thing is transport. You'll have to figure out transport. Um, there's always a different company that can do it. Or you might have a friend or somebody to do it. But um, you do need to figure that out. Because that's something I actually didn't have. But I was lucky enough that um, the person who I was buying the horse off um, was willing to actually um, drop the horse to me. But that's very rare. It's not really a thing that people do. I was extremely lucky with Lexi in general though because like, I got all her tack and everything. But that's rare as well. Uh, so I hope I forgot one bit, I knew I would forget this tip. It applies to Ireland and the UK. I don't know what other countries do, but um, this only applies to Ireland and the UK. Make sure you actually um, get a passport as well. You do not want, by law, you have to have a passport. Um, I said, you can't sell a horse without a passport and you need to actually have a passport for vaccinations and all that stuff. So that's extremely important. But um so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you have some I hope you enjoy your new horse.